This is the 17 centimeter long rubber fish sensor. It's made out of silicone rubber. It's actually made out of a fishing lure. You can see it has these three mounting points where you can attach your fishing line here in the front, on the top, and on the bottom. The pressure sensor and accelerometer are inside of the fish body. We cut a hole here and, and put them inside and then drill the pressure port hole here. Uh, the cable for charging the sensor and also for retrieving the data. The cable comes out of the top of the body here um, and it has this little cap and this little cap needs to be put on when the sensor is underwater. It just helps uh, reduce any corrosion and then when you finish uh, with the measurements you can take the cap off and then the cable connector goes directly onto these four pins here. To turn the sensor on and off, you just need a magnet like this one here. We we'll put some in the box for you. And then you just put the magnet near the hole, the pressure port hole. And when the sensor starts blinking, then it's recording data to the micro SD card inside. When you finish the experiment and you want to turn the sensor off, all you have to do is take the same magnet and tap it again next to the hole and it automatically, with the magnetic switch, turns the sensor back off again. So it's pretty pretty straightforward. It's the same, exact same sensors inside here as in the two tubes as well.